Hello everybody and welcome back. One major problem with Iron Man mode is that we only have one save and if there is a cloud save error well then the whole save game gets messed up and I've lost one hour of progress since my last two episodes. Um, I've tried to catch up, catch up again but as I noticed then of course every game is different and things behaved quite differently. I've lost Zurich so that is something that I got in the last episode or well that I wanted to make as my capital real capital and look at that also Frankier is not divided or anything but really powerful we're still in Bavaria we're still getting our claim on Ravensburg for now but other than that we've lost Zurich and Sundgau but we kept Breisgau right so there were a bit of a few wars there and in that case Zurich is just amazingly powerful and we lost that um, in this war. Everything else still stays the same, so we are still 45 now. We still have a sun that has no air at the moment, which is a problem. Um, everything else is basically the same, only that we lost, well, two counties there. In total, one county, because the other one, we did not lose them. I'm also still focusing now on Augsburg, my next target here. So we are in Bavaria. So we are now even with, for example, Duke Charles III. We're even more powerful than him, because he's got a very small um, army there. Um, only half is our army and we are allied to quite a few more. He's only got one ally. Um, in that case, we still are on a good track though, though financially pretty much worse since we lost our financial powerhouse that is Zurich. Um, and for that, well, we do need to make up for it. And I still have core here, my kind of like capital for now, which is pretty good anyway. Um, and we can still, you know, do stuff here. We can still upgrade our things. We can still get more money out of it. So that stays the same, only that we are a bit worse off now. Which makes the game even more difficult, I gotta say that, because we're not as powerful as in the last one. Now, many months have passed since the lords and ladies of the realm gathered for feast, my dear. Count Vittorio's voice is full of sincerity as he continues. My cousin, it would benefit you not to mention those among us who appreciate a good feast. Okay, what do you want me to tell with that? say with that? I promise that a feast will be hosted soon. Alright, they want a, a feast. I don't have any money really to, to afford a feast. But yeah, let's make a feast that we are in Bavaria now. I think this is reason enough to have a feast, right? And the feast has started. And we just have to wait and see what comes out of it. Um, as one... Oh, yeah, there's my Vittorio again. Food is replaced by the next. My cousin Vittorio goes on and on about tax levels. So this is his true intention, right? And that was how we salvaged that mess. Are you sure I'm not boring you, my lord? No, no, please do go on. Get some diplomacy by that. Uh, yeah. Sure thing. Let's talk about taxes. The feast is dwindling down and I find myself deep in conversation with my useless spymaster, Mayor Ro Robert. Yes, he has... He's scaly. He's got a scaly skin right now. And he's really my spymaster. He has average skills. He inquires about my opinion on court alliances. The next one who wants to talk with me about stuff that I'm absolutely not interested in. Um, but let's just for the sake of it keep the peace. We get some stress with that and we're not looking particularly happy right now. My wife, by the way, is a drunkard, my new one. So she's a drunkard that gives her a bad penalty actually to stewardship. With everyone headed for their respective homes, I'm proud to say that the feast was a success. I have my wife, Blahomira, to thank for much of its success. And we gain 150 prestige and the treat eager reveler All right so this gives us a nice bonuses here and we are close to 1000 prestige there right now and my cousin Vittoria seems to be still recovering from the feast i promised him but he's in a good mood nonetheless all right that was the feast in honor of our well i should say join of bavaria now since we are in bavaria what we can see is that there are quite a lot of things happening around us. She, for example, she's got no leech, right? That is Baden. We might just go also here, for example, Baden and Württemberg to take these counties here um, in order to make now Bavaria bigger, of course, that is. And of course, our goal is then to become the king of Bavaria if, that, if it actually comes to that. Now, of course, we lost Zurich, but that doesn't mean that our claim is gone. So we still have a claim on Zurich because we have still most of the Duchy of Corezia, right? So Corezia is the whole thing here, and the county of Zurich still belongs to that. So we will always have a claim on Zurich, that is. So right, of course, this duke has it, and unfortunately, he's got quite a lot of sons, so the, his succession is pretty much fixed. But if Frankia at some point collapses again, and I'm pretty sure it will, 
um, then we can still get our Zurich here back because we have the Schur County claim on it at the moment. Our forces of Franke and Bavaria are the same though, right? So we are pretty much even. Um, or well of me and Frankia, so I should not really mess with that. Um, by the way, we do have, thanks to our allies, a really powerful army and we have lots of prestige as well. So we could even call in a lot of allies. We might actually <laughs> go with independence war and I'm pretty sure we would win this one. What, what claim do we have? Objective? No, we don't really have anything. Okay, the Valdensians are coming up against. Valdensian is once again appearing in the Duchy of Augsburg, actually. That's where we want to go here. Right, but I'm not I, I'm not bothering with that at the moment. What is important though is that we finish our claims and Cothilder comes of age. And they grow up so fast and I think they can marry now with the genius trait and the matrilineal marriage. Very good. So it be belongs then to our house, thus increasing our fame. As I slipped between the sheets to join Blahomira, I was horrified to find oozing blizzards, uh, blisters on her most private parts. Did I do this to her? Oh my, forgive me Blahomira, but I cannot share your bed like this. Um, and she, oh, what? She gains rejected from marriage, bad fertility, minus 10,000%. How can you get 10,000%? Loses 20 opinion of you. Um, the thing is, if we still go with her, we might get the pox as well. Right, so she gains the trade lover's pox. Can be inherited, so I'd rather go with this fertility um, display here that we have. Now, of course, there's still the option of murdering our wife. And since she's ugly, a, well, a drunkard, she's old. Actually, she's 19. Look at her. She's 19. My wife is 19 and she looks like that. She has a fertility rating of minus 10,000% and um, she has the pox. So, which is also inheritable. So, we're going to kill her once again. I'm going to kill my next wife. I think that we have an alliance, right? Yes, we are al allied with Rob, but Rob is pretty weak now. It's not the strong ally anymore that it used to be. So, I'm pretty sure this is a good idea. Right, we're still going... Yeah, my mayor Robert is going to join me in this whole thing. And thus, we have 94% already. So, not the worst thing in the world. Now, let's have a look here. Duke Charles III, we do have now the claim on Ravensburg. I'm actually eager to conquer something new since we lost a few things. The problem is, we are equal right now. Why is that the case? He's allied to Steiermark, Steiermark here with Gertrude II. Um, and she's pretty strong. Why is he married with her? This one here is a 1200 as well. Marriage between Duke Charles III and Duchess Gerberg. Oh, but with this one here. Huh. I mean, he's old. He might die at some point, then the alliance is over. Or we murder her, his wife. Might also be an option. Or we murder him. Hmm, no idea yet. It doesn't matter though. No, it, it's coming. He's old, he will die anyway. Um, once again, we have another crusade. So I can decide now what do I want to do here. Um, we, my warriors will be ready to fight. I will gladly have both the finance. Let's do this. Right, so we should still do contribute something to that. And also a new chancellor. Oh, I really have bad people there in my court at the moment. Um, he's my vassal though. Let's put him in there. I mean, come on, seven diplomacy. That is not something that I would like to see. And we don't have enough knights. Let's train someone. Um, control in Fürstenberg is now fine as well. And of course, with that little money, we cannot do that much. We need more money. And I de can declare war on lots of people, though I just don't have the money for it. And yes, my agents have prepared for weeks. The cook has been bribed to look the other way and we can finally kill her. Bon appétit. She would die with 94% chance. We know what that means for schemes in this game. She might actually survive this one. She is not so bad, you know. She's got the fortune builder education trade. Huh. But she's a drunkard. This is a permanent penalty. She's ugly. She has this minus 10,000 fertility now. Does she still have the pox though? Yeah, she still has the pox. I think this stays there as well. Yeah, she has this disease now. And this is also inherited. So children would also inherit that. So no, sorry. She's gone. 
With this, of course, I also lose the alliance there now. A word of advice, I saunter between the market stalls of Kur, a heavy pouch tugging at my belt. How do I make this coin work for me? As I admire the wares of local jewelry, exquisite filigree, a sound investment, my steward Count Harry Bear suddenly appears at my side. A word of advice, my leech, I have a look at uh, the mason's work. Workshop over there. We would lose 30 coin, but we've got the jeweler's workshop investment. Oh. We lose 30 coin and we get the great mason. Or some clever trade and we gain some money there. Let's make the invest. It's a nice bonus there to my to my country. Um, we are not married. Let's do this now. So we have the choice once again to go with an alliance here. And there is actually a good one. With Clermont sur Ayer. So that's 1,800 soldiers there. Siena. Uh, Lombardia. Lombardia is not that far away, right? Lombardia. Wait a second. Isn't there something in Lombardia that I want? It's Como that I want. Como is not so bad. Uh, there's no way I can get it, though. This is over here, so they would be quick in helping me with, with battles and stuff like that. She's still way too young. And I still would love to get some babies out in the world. Um, let's also see if there's a genius trade available. There is. And they're actually not that... Oh, she looks good. She's, she's got the genius trade. She's unmarried, 30, so she's still able to get some babies out there. No alliance, though. This one here. Oh, she's also got the pox. What is going on? Matilde. She's not so bad, right? I mean, we probably would lose something. Yeah, 200 prestige because she's that bad. Do we have the pox? Oh, we have the pox now as well. Oh, God. Oh, at least Simon, my son, has gotten a son for the first time who is a dwarf. I don't believe that. We already had to kill someone. We already had to kill a son because he was... What? He was destroyed or something. Le leper it was, right? And this one is a dwarf now. Are you kidding me? We need to kill the next child. We can actually do this. Yeah, I'm sorry, pal, but I cannot have a dwarf. It's congenital. If this guy here stays alive, you know, in that case... Yeah, sorry, pal. I will keep him for now. Okay, we'll see how far it goes, right? I mean, he could still be a good person, something like that. And it, it doesn't mean that every child that he gets gets the dwarf skill still. If he gets good, we might keep him but otherwise we can still kill him before he reaches 16 right so for now let's put him on some education and it's probably us that's going to educate him because we got the fortune builder trade and i want him to get it as well just in case right we, we don't have to we don't have to do this right now um i still want to get her though because of the genius trade hmm are we going with the lines ah uh, it's a difficult decision genius is a small chance though that anything comes off it we do have a son but he's got a bad son. I'm 49. I can still get some babies out there. If one of them gets a genius trait, he might be my heir. Though I would have to kill a few people before that. Huh. No. Let's let's go with the let's go with the lines. This is better. Let's go with the lines power. Let's get rid of the genius trait. And it's really all about alliance power and Clermont sur Ayer. That's 1,800 soldiers from my side. We're going with this. Best choice. Very good. Um, gives us some nice bonus there. And yeah, we do now have the option. Since we do have quite some nice alliances, do we want to take Rab uh, Ravensburg? Which is here. The thing with that is though, um, yeah, they are inferior, but they've got quite some soldiers. What we could also do is we can declare war on her. She's independent right now. Um... And in that case here, we could have a holy war for the county, right? So piety, as we can see, ah, who cares about that, right? Um, we would get this one here. We would get a devotion penalty of this one, though, too. So we would probably go down then below dutiful. Huh. Ah, so many, so many things here. What I can do is I could have a claim on Baden, though. I think Baden is quite high on the list here. 14 in development. Yeah, and with Augsburg, we're still waiting 
until I've murdered him, right? So we don't have a murder scheme right now. Nope. And this is because of the marriage here. Um, so I might just kill off his wife. She's 23% twenty, uh, chance and he is also 23% chance. What we can do to prepare this, let's have my spy master finding out secrets in the capital there. Right, so if he finds any secrets, we might get some additional agents joining the murder scheme. This is important. And while we have that claim here, we can create a claim for Baden, because I also want to get this. We got Zollern here, Württemberg, and Baden. And I can still get these here. I mean, yeah, they're far away though, culturally. Faith is different, culture is different. Still. Another thing that I want to do is, um, as we can see, the Legis Council, there is Stuart Duchess Sophia right now. She's got 20 stewardship. Um, I've got 19 stewardship. So at the moment, she is in council. I want to get into this council because, as we know, it is pretty powerful. It gives you lots of bonus, bonuses and a good income, an additional income. And, of course, let's have a look if we can murder her. Unfortunately, we cannot. How old is she? She's 50. She's still here. Hmm. Where is she situated? Up here in Bavaria. Okay. Getting rid of her might be a very, very good thing. We might also keep that in mind, right? Because we want to get the steward at some point. We, by the way, got an invitation to become the spy master, but as usual, I'm not going with that because spy master tend to get killed quite often, finding secrets and whatnot. Oh, and look at that. Actually, the steward, she vanished. She lost a war here. So your neighbor Countess Catherine has won against Duchess Sophia, the holy war. Right, so in that case, because she is... Oh, well, actually, she's Catholic. Oh, it's her. She's got more powerful. She actually destroyed her. And in the process, my leech lost the steward. So hopefully, we're getting the position of steward now. We also have a new perk. So we can say development growth and realm capital. We want to increase that. That is the centralization perk once again. We are, by the way, 53 right now. So that's still fine. My son, he's got a new one. Nikolaus. And Nikolaus is no dwarf. Very good. And he's robust, though. Perfect. Very good, very good, very good. And let's, of course... All right, he's somewhere else again. Yes! And she's offering me steward position of Bavaria. Let's accept that. And that's actually almost three queen per month in addition that we got there. Very good. And thus we get the taxes out of it. We get a domain tax plus 15%. We get um, building construction. Gold cost is minus 15%. And of course some lifestyle experience as well on top of that. Pretty, pretty damn important and powerful this one. Now why is my son once again in Coburg? That's most likely because his wife is in Coburg. Yep. So let's invite her back to the court. She will not accept though. She will accept if positive. Oh, that's a lot of money she wants from us. We do need to do this because this is the heir to the family and I'm not going to have the dwarf then as my heir. But he's curious, you know, so he is getting powerful. I mean, I do have a feeling here that this dwarf reminds me of someone. Huh, compassionate gambler. Difficult. Do we want to kill him? I mean, it's possible. It's entirely possible that we kill him. We have a hook, so we could even imprison him if we want to. Oh, poor fella. No idea what I want to do with him. I certainly don't want to have a dwarf as the head of family and making babies. That would be very bad. The carps. If it is a pond for carps you're interested in, I can build you a terrific one, my lord. The builder before me has good credentials and my courtiers seem very excited about the prospect. We lose 50 coin though, but we open up a new interesting project. Let's give him all the resources he needs. So this is kind of like the same with the book reading and learning um, with the learning skill. Oh no, and we are sick once again, do more than what is necessary. And oh, worsening disease symptoms for a year. Not good at the moment, so we are ill. Um, by the way, we have a bad core physician at the moment, right? He's got only plus 10 learning. And yeah, he's a bad bishop overall. Do I have someone better in my court with a better learning skill because I would like to get another good physician then. Hmm. I think one of my new knights had good learning skills there. Plus 12, that is still not very good. 
Oh, there. This guy here, St. Gallen, 36th learning. But I cannot make him my court physician. I think because we still have a court physician. Let's fire him as our court physician. And then I hope... Oh, I cannot give him that title. Why not? Why not? He's my vassal. He should be my court physician. Alright, let's search for one. And yeah, let's get... She would be my new court physician. Bah, she's got 10 learning. And he's got 6 learning. Both of them fail to impress me. Um, yeah, sorry. You're going to be my poor... Yeah. <laughs> I really don't have anyone better at mind right now. Or in my court that could do this job for me. And we've died. Alright, I, I think I saw it coming at some point. <sighs> Alright. Died pretty young. So we are now Duke Simon. Um, we have two sons at least. She's now in Grisoy again. Um, of course, we have him. He's ill, Nikolaus. Um, let's educate him as well with someone that has... Actually, I want to educate him. But it's not us. The Guardian needs to change to someone that is an educated fortune builder or something like that. Hope we have one here. This is not looking good. Greedy, insightful thinker, education trade. Alright, we haven't gotten anyone with a stewardship education at the moment. So, Cothilder is going to do that for now. She's a genius. Um, so, she's going to give her him lots of points and stuff like that. But before he reaches 16, he needs to have someone with a stewardship educational trade. Otherwise, he's going to lose that one. Um, of course, now we do have a problem with lost powerful alliances. What I can see is we do have a powerful alliance. One at least with Portugal. Um, Portugal. Down here. With 3,000 soldiers available right now. That is good. I think that's because of my wife. Yep. But of course, we do need to get new ones. So, I do have my dwarf son right now. Who is my sole heir. I hope we can change this somehow. And let's arrange a marriage. Or find a spouse. Yeah, find a spouse for him first. And of course, with powerful alliances once again. We don't have any daughters at the moment. So, perhaps we can find someone that is smart. And... I mean, he's going to go away, most likely, the dwarf, right? We have Iceland here, Barcelona. Barcelona seems like a good match. Let's go with that. And for Nicolaus, who's probably going to be my heir, hmm, I might want to find him someone with the genius trait, to be honest. Ah, it's always this balance between alliances and traits. Do we have anyone with genius available? Oh, quite a lot, actually. She's five. She looks good. She's got no defects at the moment. She's a genius. And it would even give us <laughs> this alliance here with seven soldiers. Yep. And she's five, so she's close to his age. Huh. We might catch her for now. You know, these alliances, of course, are not permanent. We're also getting the intrigue lifestyle skill with him. Okay, he's got quite something on it already. Fertility plus 20. We're going with this right away, the temptation focus, so that we can still get some babies out there. I mean, my wife, though, is 39. This is a huge problem. Um, in that regard, I don't know if she's still getting children. She should be, you know. The alliance is just way too powerful at the moment, though. I don't want to give that up. All right, my council-wise, she's going to manage the main, of course, for us. Ah, we were so on such a good track there once again. Whenever you are on a good track, stuff goes wrong. At least we didn't lose anything this time. At least we're still s staying as one unit. But it's not looking that good anymore. Alright, there we got some alliances on the way. And unfortunately, we do have a lot of prestige though. So that is something. And yeah, this poor sort of a bishop is going to be my core physician once again. And other than that, it's not looking so good right now. So we're not that powerful anymore. Um, He, I think he's got another alliance now. No, there's still Steiermark. So in that case, still pretty powerful. But I'm also going with the Duchy of Tyrol now. Tyrol. Um, and we're going with Alpsi. Hopefully we can do something here. I don't like Duke Simon III right now. He's intriguing. 
right? I want someone with the educational trait stewardship. Otherwise, this whole thing doesn't make sense. Stay tuned.